Uh, now that I have enough items, or now that I have enough money to actually reinforce some of my items, uh, boost up my newly boosted rapier. And let's see if I can ascend my rapier into anything. Um... Well, I can just... I can... Uh... Okay, I think I'll just, uh... Hmm. You know what? Regular rapier? That doesn't sound that bad to me. So I ascended rapier into plus six territory. And I made it all the way to plus ten! Jesus! Holy crap! And it's still not actually as strong as my lightning spear. <sighs> well, uh, let's see what else I can do. Uh, how about reinforcing... No, I, I, I can't reinforce my lightning spear or... Wow. I can reinforce my dragon crest shield. Uh, hmm. Dragon crest... See, that would mainly be used against fire and, and lightning enemies, but most of the enemies I'm probably gonna- Wait, no! In, uh, I'm gonna have to go back into Sen's Fortress and all those motherfuckers used electric, uh, electric freaking weapons, so actually, it might be worthwhile to actually use some of my Twinkling Titanite. Holy shit! All the way to level 4, that's pretty cool actually. Uh, I should probably actually reinforce some of my armor now that I think about it. Some of this stuff is, has been, wait, hold on. The one thing I absolutely should reinforce is that mask. Because that mask, I have basically been keeping it on no matter what. So, and, and I have a good reason for that. It's because I don't want to freaking, because like that, wait, I can't, I can't reinforce the mask? Uh, wait, it's, uh, what is it called? Oh, wait, I thought this was alphabetical order, but it's not. It's kind of fuck, go fuck yourself order. Uh, eh. Uh. Ha! Should reinforce the sack. That's hilarious. I'll buy this weaponsmith, though. Like, be, I, being able to reinforce weapons wherever you want is actually kind of neat. Uh, Anything in here that's worth trying to pick up? I could try getting the fist items, because I know that was actually pretty funny. Alright, uh, I, I think that's it for now. Go get yourself, looks like I can't, uh... Neither of us want to see you go hollow. It looks like I cannot actually reinforce this, uh, this mask that I'm wearing. Mask of the Child. Yep. In fact, it looks like I can't even repair it, which is weird, so it looks like it's a temporary item. Um, so, it looks like at this point all I can really do is go back into Sen's Fortress. Now that I'm no longer cursed, that was the big thing I wanted to take care of, uh, while I was outside. So, now, where to go? I guess the only thing left is Sen's Fortress. Or, and not Sen's Fortress, not, not fucking yet. What I meant to say was... Now go back into the depths. Yeah, and yeah, I know, it's pretty much just gonna be used to get all the way back to Blight Town, but hey, either way, if I'm down there, I can farm some green Titanite now that I have the, uh, the ring of, of fuck, find everything at once. Alright, but first, uh, demonstration. Let's see how good this, the backstab on this rapier is. Oh, one hit kill. Good enough. Alright, how about the repertoire? What the fu- I can't kick? That's weird, actually. Yeah, I- I can't kick! Hold on. Oh, I see what it does. That's actually kind of weird, like... Instead of a kick, you have, like, this back dash, which is... I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of neat, but... Uh... It goes kind of against some of the attack, um... 
fundamentals that have already been established. Then again, they've already done that. They've done- they did that with that weird sword that makes you do 16 backflips when you try to dodge. So whatever. Eh, if this works, it works. Might as well test it out. So what happens if I have too much poise and I'm in here? I somehow can backstab someone as they're front attacking me. So yeah. And that's actually how effective the um the the drain ring is. Notice I didn't have to drink. I don't even have to drink now. I'm basically about as healthy as when I came in. Man, these fucking miracles. They cost a shitload. And these talismans. They're also kind of expensive. Yeah, I need to save up some of my money. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy... Um, okay, I need to, I'm going to buy one purging stone and uh, go into the depths with it. And I believe a purging stone is 8,000. So... Uh, you've been why? Oh shit. What, what, what spectacular pyromancy? Tell me about it. I, I, I have never seen anything like it. Uh, sure. Why, well, yes, of course. Thank you for sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate him myself. Only my debt, once again. What? I should not have skipped that couple of first couple of dialogue. Unless he, uh, what pyromancer was he talking about? Um, did I find a pyromancer? here? Fuck. Is something available now? I don't know. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Uh, yeah, your... Your swamp, uh... Yeah, that place poisons you by every freaking step. I don't think uh, I want to go back there. Has a, well, oh, I have to, but well, whatever. Primitive aspect to it. It messes poorly with advanced culture. And pyromancers are considered rather unsavory. Which is fine, as I never got along with anybody anyway. So, for me, turning out there didn't change a thing. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna boost my power mancy up one time. That'll be it. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. All right. Thank you for Shit. sharing. I'm still an able pyromancer. I shall locate her myself. I'm in your debt once again. That's not what I meant to do. Goodbye then. Be safe. Don't you dare go alone. All right, I meant to read this message. Imminent saint. Is that what they're called? Oh wait, no. Uh, saints are. I believe saints are those. Uh, huh. Not sure actually. I'm not really sure exactly what a saint is in this game. But I, I guess saint in the sense of like the player character or like is like what is a saint to a player? Someone who is basically untouchable and you need them. Uh, and yeah, that guy is basically a saint in that regard. All right, hello, Gollum. Well, I'm not really interested in your moss. I'm much more interested in that giant stone that you have to eat to use. Oh, it was six thousand, not eight thousand. Um. Oh, whatever. Oh, I like you too. You sell some of the best items I've seen. Actually, no. I, yeah, definitely some of the best items. Who the fuck else sells transient curses? Oh, wow. Of course I would die. Yeah, that, that's kind of weird. It's like the poise ring... I, I noticed this on the way there, that the poise ring doesn't actually stop enemies that just throw fire. 
I, like, I, I guess, like, the poison ring doesn't stop you from, like, really feeling pain. So, like, apparently you can't take fire hips at all. Like, I was able to take grass whips. Fire hips? No. Out of the question. Unfeasible. Inconceivable! Ooh, sweet. Titanite shard. What the fuck? Oh god. Please tell me he isn't dead! Oh wait, did- When I said yes, did that mean I sent him out to look for the motherfucker... Uh, who killed the frickin' fire saint? Oh, please don't tell me he did that. He was cool. Dead. Okay, well that's not- Okay, that's not the pyromancy guy, but... Damn, hope he comes back. Jesus. Where'd he go? Oh, hello. Well, you certainly are keeping at it. Myself. Yes. The note that Master Logan left. It only said he would travel to Anolondo by way of Sen's fortress. I can only guess that he seeks the regal archives. For Master Logan is a tireless pursuer of wisdom. Wisdom trumps all. Everything else is hogwash. When the curse turned him undead, I'm certain that he only felt it was the perfect chance to visit this land. I only wish that I had his courage. I found Big Hat Logan. I think about it. It was in, um... It was... What was it? He was in, like, a cage, but it's actually a very hard place to get into. Two things are required for sorcery. First, you must equip a wand. Second, you must attune a sorcery. Then you will be ready to fire away. Oh, and don't forget to aim. Yeah, too, yeah the, uh, too bad you can't tell the game that. Two things are required first. Oh. Alright. Goodbye then. Alright, well he didn't inform me on the safety of the pyromancer guy, so whatever. Jesus, I'm getting really lucky with finding humanity, I swear. Oh, let's combine some pyromancy with some regular sorcery. See how that turns out. Apparently it makes the aim shit. Okay, so it looks like my damage multiplier is currently at 1.5. Because, uh, normally soul arrows do only a third of the damage that the heavy soul arrows do. Or at least that's what I've seen in editing. Now they're doing, uh, closer to half. Let's actually see how good uh, heavy soul arrows do. Ah, pretty good, actually. But you'll also be notice you'll also notice one other thing. My uh, health is slowly is slowly dying. So now that I've got all my stuff back, I have three humanities, and that's pretty fucking cool. That's sweet. All right, I gotta put some shit away because it's already my inventory is again starting to get uh, uh crowded really, really fast. All right, now I know I already know that that doesn't lighten up my equipment load, but what I do know it does do is it makes my inventory a lot easier to manage. And why do I have three of the exact same thing? Okay, now I should be optimized. Oh wait. Fuck, I forgot about tuning magic. <laughs> uh... Alright, since I have been getting poison- uh, since I have been getting, uh, tad bit poisoned... I'm gonna try putting remedy on this stuff. What the fuck? I- how do you- wait, that doesn't even- I found humanity on a rat! Think about that for a second. I found more humanity. That's absurd. Oh shit, I forgot to I forgot to change my equipment again. Now I actually need uh, poison resistant stuff. Um because yeah, there's a lot of poison in this area and actually the next area. So yeah, this is my uh anti-poison load. 
so now, uh, what I'm gonna be doing over here is... Oh, shit. I should heal. Crap. But, um, what I'm gonna be doing over here is exploring the areas that I went to, but didn't really look into that heavily, if that makes any sense. And wow! While this isn't the most powerful weapon, with with power within, now I can actually do a lot of damage. So, originally, I believe I went down... This path. Oh, that's interesting. The, the heavy rapier attack puts the enemy in enough hit stun so that they can't attack me. This is really cool. So, I believe I went down this path and fell into a grate. So, now let's see the alternate path that I believe I saw a rat running down before. Yep. Alright, and this path, which leads to another rat. Alright. And, yeah, there's the great door. And... This looks like the... Yeah, this is the area where... I think this is where I fought the rat. Yeah, it is where I fought the rat. Huh. And and actually, I think this was the door I went into, so that's the grade I fell into when I first entered this area. That's interesting. Which means that I was just a few turns away from killing the most annoying uh, enemy I had encountered in this area. Alright, but what's up here? Oh, whoa! This is... This is mesmerizing. Everything connects, and yet everything doesn't connect. Holy crap. 